Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Read Aloud for the holiday. So today I have two read alouds for you. One I already post is uh, someone else reading because I don't own the book at home, but it's one of my favorites, Olive, the other reindeer. And if you listen to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer story, it'll make sense where it says Olive, the other reindeer. The other one is today's book I have is called Santa Duck. So I hope you enjoy Santa Duck. Enjoy this book. Nicholas Duck had only one day left to find Santa. If I don't tell him what I want, he quacked, it's going to be another year of socks and underwear. Ah! We don't want socks and underwear, do we? All right. Let's see what happens. On his way out, Nicholas found a surprise. Whoa, baby! That's what he says. It was a cozy, warm coat and a genuine, official Santa hat. Ho, ho, ho. Jingle quack, jingle quack, jingle all the quack. Nicholas had no idea who had given it to him, but he liked it. Then Nicholas met a chicken. Santa duck, the chicken said. I've been looking everywhere from for you. And I'd like a helicopter and a hot air balloon and a hang glider and a blimp and a... After that, he met a cat. Has everyone gone bonkers? I want a mouse and a canary and a trout and maybe a couple of nice plump hams hamsters. Oh, better bring me some eggnog too. Then he met Turtle. Over here he says, look at Santa, cool, the turtle says. And a really, really fast race car that goes really, really fast in a helmet with goggles and a flames painted on the side. And a squirrel, a case of nuts, a case of walnuts, two cases of peanuts, and a shovel. Thanks, Santa Duck. And a rabbit. All I want is a carrot cake. The size of a football field. Don't forget the frosting. Nicholas couldn't figure out what was going on. He, all he could do was scratch his head. When he did, his hat fell off. Of course, he said, it must be the hat. So Nicholas gave it to a cow. He says, really, I insist. Gee, thanks, Santa Duck. The cow was very happy with her new hat. Nicholas was even happier to get rid of it. Jingle moo, jingle moo, jingle all the moo. Whew. Nicholas continued on his merry search once again, laughing all the way until the cow came after him. Oh, I almost forgot. I'd like a Frisbee, a skateboard, sunglasses, and home ice cream maker, and an XL Santa hat. This one's too small. Then two kangaroos, a pig, a mouse, a goat, and Nicholas's own, or then came, two kangaroos, a pig, a mouse, a goat, and Nicholas's own kid brother. I never knew Santa was a duck. This is Santa's helper. The real Santa is a pig. Make it a red bike with rainbow tassels and a big horn. That does it. Nicholas started running and running and running. Leave me alone. Until he ran himself into Santa. No way! Way. Santa asked Nicholas what everyone wanted, and Nicholas told him. Wow, thanks, Santa Duck. What a great memory you have. Huh? Santa Duck? Me? After they said goodnight, Nicholas realized he had forgotten to tell Santa his own list. But it was too late. Santa, come back! Santa, Santa? Oh no. 
Then when Nicholas got home, there was a note on his door. Dear Santa Duck, thank you so much for your help. I couldn't have done it without you. May I count on you again next year? Gratefully, Santa. Nicholas felt so proud he forgot all about his list. Getting to help Santa was the best gift he could ever get. Jingle quack, jingle quack, jingle all the quack. Well, almost. I hope you enjoyed Santa Duck and you enjoyed all of the other reindeer. I will see you at Fun Friday today.